And I'm back again for another vlog. And it's uh, that time again. <laughs> a time where I uh, look for a new job. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I'm more than halfway through this seasonal job and uh, I, I don't know how long I can uh, work uh, at a tubing hill with no snow. snow. <laughs> I mean, th there is snow, but it's melting fast. Like, all that snow that we gained about a month ago, it, it's all melted and and there's a lot of round spots everywhere uh, on the ski hill and at the tubing hill. Uh, but I mean, right now it's snowing. You you might be able to see. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that comes out nicely. But, yeah, there, there's the snow. Oh, come on, come on. All right. All right, yeah. Yeah, but right now, outside, it is snowing, but the snow melts as soon as it hits the ground, so it's not staying. Uh, at least down here, I'm sure. Up at the top of the mountain uh, it's it's staying up there but I mean we need a lot more snow <laughs> this snow falling is a good start but either way uh, I'm going to be out of a job soon because uh, yeah we're just not going to be able to stay open in the spring. Probably won't even be able to make it through March. Even though I know they want to because there's spring break in March. So the kids are out of school for a week. and They're hoping that more people will come up uh, to the ski resort during spring break. But... Who knows if we'll be open then. Yeah, so better start looking now. Yeah, I really want uh, to get a job, a, I should say like a permanent full time or at least part time job in TV or film. I'll take either one, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I've applied to my local uh, TV stations. Uh, I have done that in the past before, and I, I got two uh, interviews with people at two different television stations in the past uh, and also one phone interview with another TV station and and every time I didn't get the job but uh, I can keep trying hopefully one day it will come through if it doesn't come through then I'm just gonna have to get a, another random job, I guess. The kind of job I want is like, I guess, kind of a normal uh, job, like nine to five, Monday through Friday one. Because I really haven't had a job like that. I guess the closest job I've had to that was 
a summer job I had way back in high school where I would uh, uh, be in a group of other people and we would go door to door in neighborhoods and uh, inform people about licensing their dogs because uh, it, it, it's a city law that all dogs has to be uh, licensed through the, the city so yeah yeah I did that in the summer uh, Monday through Friday but uh, that was only like four or five hours a day so not not a full-time job but yeah I mean doesn't have to be exactly nine to five Monday through Friday. Although that that would be nice. Then I could get weekends off. TGIF, Miss Barco. Nope. Working tomorrow. TGI. Just another fucking day. Or at least work somewhere where there there is. Uh, built-in days off like my, my schedule uh, wouldn't have me work on certain days every week uh, as opposed to the scheduling I've had in the past where it could vary from week to week which days I get off so yeah if I had built-in days off that would be really great for planning to do stuff and I also don't want to work uh, in a place that's open for 24 hours a day or uh, a majority of the day. Because, yeah, I worked at the gas station, which was open 24 hours, and then uh, at the deli and the grocery store, which was open from 6 a.m. to midnight every day. So, yeah, then I could be working at any possible time during the day, as opposed to working at a company that closed at a certain time every day. I wouldn't have to, like, work in the evening one day and then come in the next day early in the morning. Yeah, because I've even had to do that with this tubing uh, hill job because we have night tubing now. There's one day when I worked until 9 p.m. and then didn't get home until after 10 p.m. after coming down from the mountain. And then the next day, uh, I had to be back up on the mountain by 8 a.m. So I literally went straight to bed when I got home. I uh, did almost nothing else and then got right back up and went right back to work. So yeah, I don't really like doing that. Also, I would like to get a job that's not in customer service. Yeah, just so uh, uh, I don't have to deal with people. I mean, I, I can deal with people, but uh, it, it's just like I can only deal with people for so long and then I just want to quit talking to people. It, it actually kind of makes me a little less social because yeah I, I spend uh, all day at work talking to people and then I come home and don't really want to uh, talk to any more people. So, yeah, but 
customer service jobs are like the easiest jobs you can get with little experience and they're then and, and they're plentiful so yeah probably gonna have to uh, get one in customer service but yeah I mean these are some of the things I want but if I can't get them then I'll just have to deal with it because I need a job yeah just have to keep looking for one and and hopefully I can get one that I can act actually stand working for more than one year <laughs> yeah yeah maybe this next job I'll have for over a year my first one but yeah yeah so until next video goodbye